In the last two years, the Federal Capital Territory Administration has been intensifying its campaign to rid the city of vandals. Efforts include the setting up of the FCT Joint Task Force, which in collaboration with the police has the powers to arrest and prosecute vandals. Although the FCT administration says it has made some arrests, vandalism continues in the city center. This joint rally between the FCT administration and the Nigerian Institute of Civil Engineers is to sensitize Abuja residents of the need to protect public infrastructure. As officials say, activities of vandals limit government's efforts to develop the city. With the mega resources of continuing to develop more districts, we are now using the money or the funds to maintain and replace what have been removed by unscrupulous uh, Nigerians. So uh, we will find it very difficult to continue to develop other places. We have so many other districts that are not yet developed. Meanwhile, the chairman of the Nigerian Institute of Civil Engineers emphasizes the need for vandals to have a rethink. Vandalism can be described as an act of wickedness against humanity, against the government, even against God by removing these infrastructures provided by the government for our own need because these infrastructures serve everybody there is no particular person even the the government that provides these roads these amenities they don't use it alone others however stress the need for security agencies to step up their game it's not just enough to put the covers and leave them there should be monitoring and i'm sure they have that in place as well they have a department monitoring but possibly maybe they are not doing enough and it's possible they are doing enough but at night we don't have the surveillance cameras watching over all these infrastructures some critical infrastructure including security cameras electricity cables and drain covers are constantly vandalized within abuja city center if this is left unchecked the nigerian institute of civil engineers believes they will not only cost the government more money to fix them but will expose more people to danger